What's up guys, Jake here. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to resize an image in Adobe Illustrator without losing any quality. Um, just a little disclaimer here, this really only works with uh, simpler images that are basically, I guess, just flat. Um, I'll, I'll explain this a little bit later, but just to let you guys know so you're not all freaking out why it's not working, why it should. So yeah, um, so first step, we're just gonna grab a picture. Um, I think a good example would be this one. So yeah, just like a flat image like this. Um, no like 3D-ness, that helps. Uh, it makes the process a bit easier and it looks nicer in the end, but it does kind of work somewhat the other way. But yeah, so as you can see, our image is tiny compared to our final uh, resizing. Um, so if we like duplicate this, and if I went to just resize it by itself, see it looks, ter it looks terrible, like all that pixelation and stuff, it looks really bad. Um, and no one likes a pixelated picture, it's just, it's just, no one likes it. So what we're gonna do no i did not want to duplicate that one delete it okay so what we're gonna do now is with our layer selected we're gonna go up here up top and where it says image trace there's a little preset thing that slides out and we're gonna click on high fidelity photo and it's gonna do its thing and depending on how fast your computer is it shouldn't take that long and then after that, we're gonna go back up top and hit expand. And now we're gonna drag our photo and I'm holding down shift so that way it maintains proportions. We're gonna resize it the exact same like we did before. And if we zoom in, you can see there's no more pixelation. There's tiny little uh, artif not artifacts, but it messed up a little bit like right around there. But honestly, you, at an image this large in size, you really cannot notice it. Um, so yeah, that's basically what you want to do for that. Um, if you want to do a little more complex photo, this is hard. Uh, let's see if I can find one. For example, this wallpaper. Let's see if you uh, zoom in, it's got... It's got a little bit of noise and stuff in it and a little bit of reflections. Uh, this is a bit harder for the computer to render out. It just, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. See, this one's taking a bit longer. All right, it's almost done. So how's the weather? <laughs> you know, it's not bad here. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. Okay, so once we expand this one now, you can see we have a lot more paths. Um, it's like almost completely blue. And if we scale this one up, oh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I mean, it, it looks it looks all right from zoomed out, but if you zoom in to 100%. See, it's got like this kind of watercolor effect. And if you're going for that, great. Um, you got exactly what you wanted. But if you have like a, a photo of a person, it can look a little bit weird. Um, and then there's also like little bits of white and stuff. But you can probably fix that up if you really wanted to. Um, but if you want it, if you want this design, like, that style like it's fine because there's no pixelation or anything so that it looks nice that way um and same thing goes for like if you have a picture of something real like this apple if i were to do this one now and <laughs> you can't even see anything if i were to do this one resize it.
like so. It's got kind of like that watercolor effect I was talking about. Like it doesn't it doesn't look real anymore, uh, and that can be a problem if you're trying to do this with stuff that are real, like this apple. So that's really the only problem that I've run into. But otherwise, if you're just doing a 2D image like this, it works fine. So that's about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Um, if you have any suggestions or requests, let me know in the comment section. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.